Right, today's video is coming from a windswept, rain-swept Northampton. And the thing when you've got dogs, you can't shirk on the dog walking, even if it is raining. So what are you doing, Jasper? He's eating potatoes. There's potatoes everywhere on the ground down there. And this little knob end down there is eating them. So the reason there's potatoes on the ground, apparently they're doing shooting on this lake. That lake over there, if you can see it, behind me which starts November the f um, October the 1st, which apparently is tomorrow. So I think they're enticing all the birds with potatoes. Then they're gonna shoot fuck out of them. Okay, each to their own. Anyway, I didn't wanna talk about the local wildlife destruction too much. I wanted to talk about abs, because this is a common question I get asked all the time. I, I say all the time, it's not weekly, it's like every day. Usually Facebook, sometimes text. How do I get a six pack? It's like, oh God, where do you start with that one? It's such a, it's a very basic question. And you, I wanna run through a few things that you need to get in your head. Like most people, if they keep asking the same question over and over and over on different forums and Facebook pages, most people will have heard of the phrase abs are made in the kitchen. Now what does that mean for people that keep asking over and over again and get the same fucking answer? Abs made in the kitchen basically means that no matter how good your abdominal development is, that's where most people hold the fat on their belly, yeah? So you can have the best six pack in the world and if it's covered in a layer of fat, you won't be able to see your greatest six pack in the world because it's covered in a layer of fat. It's like I could say to you right now, look at my six pack. There you go. Check that bad boy out. You're like, can't fucking see it there because I've got a coat on. That's just the same scenario. If you've got a layer of fat, you ain't seen your six pack. So that's where the phrase comes from, or the saying comes from, abs are made in the kitchen, yeah? So, you can do all the ab exercises you like. I, me personally, I found that building abs was not a great sort of like um great shakes for me really and i think a lot of it's genetics you've either got abs or you haven't got abs and i seem to have had abs when i was a kid like i was one of the skinny kids with abs if you want to call it that so a lot of it's genetics now for me personally i didn't do a lot of ab workout and people say to me oh what did you do for you well, how do you get abs like that well, what do you do for your abs it's like well i don't do anything really it's just they kind of always been there. Um, Pre-contest, I would step it up a little bit, and I would basically do crunches and leg raises. That's about it. I'd do crunches where you, you know, you just lay on lay on your back with your with your your legs up on a bench. And nowadays, it's got them sort of like cradle things you sit in. And the biggest tip I would say for doing crunches is you got to do slow, deliberate movements, and you've got to crunch. It's a crunch, yeah? Crunches. So you've got to crunch the ab and really like squeeze it. And to get the best squeeze, the best contra contraction out of that is to expel all the air. So when you're moving upwards, you breathe out all the air. So if you just do that standing, standing as I'm talking to you now, if I go like that and I really crunch my abs, so you, you can feel your abdominals working and I'm just standing up straight. So that's the biggest tip I would give. So I do the same sort of thing on leg raises as well. So I would say that exercises are secondary, yeah? So yes, they're okay to do. If you've never had abs, then you probably won't get great abs ever. Um, that's the honest truth about it. I've known people over the sort of 30 odd years I've been in the gym and they're training and dieting and their abs are still not brilliant because of that layer of fat. So a lot of it is a genetic thing. So once you've got your ab workout sorted out, I would treat it like any other body group. Um, you know, you don't train your chest every day, so why, oh yeah, well if I do like 300 sit-ups every morning, will I get good abs? No, you're just fucking over training. So you can develop abs by doing what I just said. How your abs will look when they're developed is down to your genetics. So you can't do a lot about your genetics. So it's not even worth worrying about your genetics. Just, you just gotta make the most of what you've been given, basically. Now, fucking puddles everywhere down here, and I've got training shoes on. I need to invest in a, 
pair of waterproof walking boots, I think. So, the other thing is diet and cardio. So cardio, like I'm doing now, walking the dog. Okay, fat burning cardio, I'd step up the pace a little bit, but the video's not gonna be that great if I do that. So cardio is great for losing body fat. So is lowering your carbohydrate intake. So you wanna be slowly, this is me, right? This is what I do. I'm not saying it's gonna work for everybody, because it won't. But what I tend to do when I'm dieting, then I will lower my carbohydrates a little bit. So I'll, I'll look at what carbs I'm eating, roughly every meal, I won't weigh anything out. If I'm eating a whole bag of, the, you know like the Uncle Ben's rice you get in a bag, the, the, the pre-cooked microwave um, rice, yeah? So if I typically eat one bag of rice with a meal, then my diet, I would probably have three quarters of a bag per meal. And then I'd probably lose a few pounds of body fat. You know, not, not, not just by cutting a quarter, quarter of a bag of rice out, I would, I'd cut a quarter of a bag of rice out of one meal and then maybe a slice of bread out of another meal. Just cut a little bit of carbs, what I'm saying. Don't do anything drastic. So once, you, once you've done that, you should lose a little bit of body fat and then you'll only lose it for like a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, maybe. It's all individual, trial and error. So once you've done the two or three weeks, once the body fat slows down and inevitably stops, then you knock a little bit more out. So you think, okay, three quarters of a bag of rice I'm on now, I'll knock that down to half a bag of rice and I'll take another slice of bread out or I'll, you know, do something along that sort of lines. So when you're doing that, you wanna be keeping your protein high. You don't wanna be lowering your protein, just your carbohydrates. Carbohydrates will, in effect, um, sort of control your body fat if better, probably a better way of phrasing that but, but you know what I mean, they, they will determine how much body fat you carry and how much carbohydrates you're eating protein, if you're thinking, oh yeah I've got to lower my calories I'll, I'll eat a little bit less chicken breast no, 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 because as soon as you lower your protein, you're lowering your building blocks, don't forget protein is building blocks, amino acids make up protein they're your building blocks for your body you give your body less building blocks it hasn't got nothing to build it with so you want to keep the protein high to stop yourself losing muscle, possibly gain a little bit, but when you're dieting, usually to stop yourself losing muscle. So keep the protein high, lower the carbohydrates, but don't do anything drastic like I just said. And another thing you can do is up your, fucking puddles everywhere, up your cardio. So again, with that don't do anything too drastic scenario, if you do 20 minutes cardio three times a week at the gym, then perhaps do 20 minutes four times a week at the gym to start with, or even 25 minutes three times a week. So you know what I mean? So just put a little bit more, a little bit more in, a little, little five minutes here, five minutes there, and then see how you get on with that. If your body fat reduces, then great. Don't, if your body fat's going down, don't up or nothing, yeah? Until that body fat stops going down. And then think, okay, I might put another five minutes um, cardio in. And why is this video going all blurry for? So look at that. But I think my phone's dead now because I've got waterlogged phone. Oh, this was going to be a great video. It's going to be the best video I've ever done. So anyway, you get the gist. And now I can't see you now. You're still there. In fact, I look better in this sort of light, don't I? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it there before I drown my phone. And... Uh, it says AE lock on there, what does that mean? We'll see how this video turns out. I might upload it. You know, I'm keeping things real at the end of the day. So, don't forget abs are made in the kitchen. And on that note, I'm fucking off, because look at it.